Hello my friends, Wayne here once again for Zombie Kitty, welcoming you to more 7 Days to Die. So a quick recap of what we've done so far. We spawned into the world, we learnt how to craft, we learnt how to build and we learnt how to survive. We then immediately hit the road and started foraging for gear and loot. And then I found this rooftop right here that you can see just in time for nightfall. We cleared the area of the roaming dead and we, uh, we completely scoured this building for every fragment that we could find. I then broke my fucking torch and my own light is a candle until morning. This is our storage chest where we've got a hell of a lot of loot so far. Now my only other objective at this stage is to explore and find somewhere else to survive. I've got bottled water, I've got food, and I've got painkillers. I'm going to take these and put them in my inventory. Uh, where are our plant fibers? There they are. And our small stones are around here too. Everything else I'm going to leave in my inventory for the time being, except for the stone axes. I'm going to need to craft a few more of those. If I'm going to survive on the road. Right. Food. Do I have any food? Food, food, food. Really? I do not have any food? Are you kidding me? A yucca plant can be used to make yucca juice. Bullet casing. Right, I literally don't have any food. I've got some rotting flesh. Useless, mate. Grain alcohol. I've got a can of pears. I'm going to take that with me. And that is it for right now, guys. That is it. Right, so if I put the stone axe in my inventory, I'll put the bottled water and the pears in my inventory. We've got painkillers in our possession as well. The morning is nearly upon us. We are just an hour and 20 minutes away from the morning. This, in the distance, is the bridge that we crossed to get to this point. Our first base camp of the game, which is just a small obstacle on the road ahead. And that is the way we are going to go. Right, if I press X and head over to the map menu, I can place a waypoint. Uh, just remove waypoint, show map, track waypoint. Save waypoint here. How the fuck do I save a waypoint? Show map. Wait, save the waypoint, bro. Right, can't figure out how to save a waypoint. I've done this earlier. Uh, t remove waypoint. What the hell? Uh, track waypoint. What the fuck am I doing? Right. This is something I'll figure out later. I'll find a way to basically put your waypoints on the map and you can mark them as this is a home, this is a campsite, this is somewhere to loot etc etc it's good for the online play as well but I can't seem to figure out how to do it on the single player campaign but I'm sure it will come with time oh well for now we know what the, where this is marked on the map anyway because you just only have to go to the map and there you have it our campsite is there right so the bridge is there we want to go this way morning is almost upon us so now is a safe time to go and explore Gotta be careful going down this ladder. There we go, there we go. Right, let's hit this bastard road, shall we? Hit the road and see what's next. Because we need food. The only food I've got in my possession at the moment is a can of pears. There was no other food in the passing gas other than this uh, can of pears. So we need to move on. I've still got plenty of water to keep, keep me going. I'm going to pop some water now. Taking my thirst back up to 86%. My food is 51%, so our boy is getting hungry. So I'm going to pop these pears now, and hopefully we can find some more food along the way. We've got a white sedan here as morning creeps in. A gritty sunrise arrives. And we've got a repair kit there. What the hell's a repair kit? Uh, repair kits made from cloth, oil, duct tape, and forged iron are used to repair guns, motorized tools, vehicles, and more. Very nice, very nice. Now we've got another street light in the distance here. Street lights I've found so far from my exploration are a sign of civilization in the general area. Makes sense. Just like the real world. So, hopefully we've got somewhere around here for me to search and forage. Right then. We've got a stop sign there. 
The street lamp is in this direction, so chances are there might be something down there. Looks like a road ahead there as well. So, let's just have a quick search down here and see what this is. That's a speed limit sign. Righty dokey skip. I'm going to take this route for now. We've got a couple of Z's on the road just down here, so I want to keep my wits about me so as to not agitate any Z's because I do not have any weapons at this stage. Oh, look at this, guys. We've got some buildings in the distance right here. Couple of Z's on the roof. We've got a freaking village. An old abandoned town. Nice, and it's pretty close to our base camp as well. So that was a good stop on the road. Right, let's just have a quick run through. We've got a whole bunch of zombies. Whole bunch of zombies. But we've got a whole bunch of places to search as well. I'm just going to get my sprint on through here. See if we can find any decent place to live. This town is overrun. Overrun. However, if I can clear out the town, we've got a decent place to live. So I think our current objective is going to be to craft some fuck ton of arrows and move into this small village, this small town that used to be a town and find a decent house to live in because we've got a lot of stuff that we can search around here it's going to come in really handy right so first things first I need to build a waypoint uh, I'm going to favourite the ladder I should have brought the ladders with me, what a dumbass Craft these ladders. Whack them in my inventory. Right bumper across to them. I'm still labelled as undetected. Okay, which is good. Now I've got this tree blocking my access point here. So let's chop that tree down. Get rid of this grass as well. Nope, can't get rid of that grass. Uh, am I still undetected? Yes, I am. Right. So here we are going to drop a ladder leading up to this building. This will give us a good vantage from the rooftops of scaring this area for loot and so on and so forth. Get me on the roof, bruh. Oh, shit. The fuck happened there? Oh, son of a bitch. Right. <laughs> well, I fucked up my own ladder. Right, so let's build a second ladder. I need more ladders. Build more ladders. Right. Drop these in the inventory. The sooner the better, mate. Do not want to be around here with all these Z's. Shit. One's caught hold of me. Oh, fuck. Really, bruh? My own fault. Still undetected, though, so let's get rid of this wooden block in front of my potential second ladder. Because the first ladder, I'm unable to climb up. Right, I'm sensed. So I need to start moving up. There we go, there we go. Right, drop on there. Is it going to let me? It is not. Why the fuck not? Son of a bitch. Come on. Just <laughs> let me on the fucking roof, mate. Let me on the roof, bruh. Right, well, either way, I'm on the roof now. So that was just a waste of additional ladders. Right, so from here, we've got a decent vantage. They will not be able to climb up and get us. But from up here, providing we've got enough ammunition or arrows, we can start clearing this area. One by one. And searching the area one by one. But the thing is, it's right in the middle of nowhere, but this is still going to be a good first base camp for us. Because it's in the middle of nowhere, but we've still got all this, these additional houses to search. So, the next objective, we just need to start clearing it. If I build a melee weapon for the time being... Bone shiv. Useful for gutting animals. Now, I've got some bones in my... Storage chest, but the only thing I can make at this stage is a wooden club So if I make four wooden clubs for the time being That's enough to just keep us going and start clearing out the first few zombies to get our first bit of exploration done 
Now I'm being hunted, so there's definitely a zombie in this area that's got scent of me. Scent of my presence. So we need to be careful. Our base camp is still relatively close. So there's our base camp. And here is our first settlement with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10 buildings for us to search and forage. So that's not a bad find. I'm pretty happy with that find at this stage. Now we just need to clear the freaking area, which is going to be easier said than done. Right, so let's jump down onto this car, find out where the first batch of zombies are. I'm still sensed, so they are in the area. Where are the bastards? Let's get a sprint on the temperature is skyrocketing in this area, so... But we are, we are in the desert, so it's going to be skyrocketing. First zombie is just around here. Here's the bastard. Cream going straight for my ladder. Right, just keep swinging. The club is stunning him. Stun damage bonus, and that bitch is dead. Right, there's one brother down, and he's got nothing on his person. Undetected now, but there are more zombies. We know that. We know that there are more zombies. We've got one on the roof, for example, right there. I'm being hunted again, so there is another one in the area. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There's the bastard. Right, so we're going to approach him. We're going to keep swinging again. Go for the head, guys. Go for the head. You want to be stunning these Zs. There we go. There's a second one dead and buried. Got some painkillers on his person as well. Painkillers, by the way, painkillers heal you slowly over time, but will dehydrate you a little. But I'm going to take those bastards anyway. Oh, we've got that zombie on the rooftop over there. So that's one we're going to need to deal with. Anybody else? Undetected. Now we know there are more. We know there are more. Because there was loads when we were stuck first making our first moves. So we want to be stunning these bastards as much as possible. The bitch is on the ground. Take that dome clean off, sugar tits. There we go, there we go. Putrid girl is dead and buried. Oh, this brother came out of nowhere, bruh. That's one angry looking zombie as well. Oh, he's going to get a swing in on me there. Yeah, there's another one dead. Right, am I safe? Am I safe? No, I'm still being hunted, but I can't see where from. Just got a quick search on this zombie for a lead pipe. Now, I know I'm being hunted. I know I'm being hunted. But where from? That is the question. Whoa, there's the answer as well. That zombie's just snuck into that house right there. So we need to deal with these. I'm overheating as well. I am overheating. That's going to make me dehydrated very quick. So I need to find a water source. We've got a cloth fragment right there. And I know we've got another zombie in there. Now the fact that I'm overheating means I'm going to pop into my character menu. And unequip my clothes for now. Which will make uh, the temperature go down a little. Then I'm going to pop some water. Which will help me... Uh, hydrate and stay hydrated but the temperature is atrocious in the desert area so the less stuff you I think the less stuff you're carrying and the less stuff you have equipped the better however if I can find a river and take a dunk in there that will help me cool down as well let's just hop into the character menu again so I can show you this right you're overheating rest find water or shelter when hot you will dehydrate faster so we need to find shelter shelter from the heat there's definitely a zombie in there, isn't there? However, we need shelter. So I need to break into here. Come on, and break in. There's definitely a zombie in here. I'm still sensed. Right, let's break in. Break in. Hopefully it's not a fucking crawler. My, my first axe is down. Right, let's get in, get in, get in. Now, where is this zombie? Hmm. Cannot see a zombie in this room. The temperature outside is ridiculous, but we got some eggs in the building here. Some cupboards up here. I think I can see the outline of a zombie there. We've got some food. Uh, some corn seeds so we can stop planting our own crops. 
Empty can, I'm just gonna take everything for now. Uh, some more bottled water. See guys, this is just a perfect place to search. We've got another cooking pot, so I can build a second campfire up top, or when I've reinforced one of these buildings here. Old sink for a wrench, another melee weapon, and some more coffee beans. I need to start the process of moving my camp from uh, the gas station to over here. But I think it's going to be a wise idea to clear the area first. Cannot find that second zombie for the life of me. There's another brother still on the roof over there. But which house am I going to use as my base camp for the time being? Which house indeed? I don't like to be on the floor. I like to be up in the air. There's nothing stopping me getting on this rooftop and building a, a sort of rooftop settlement. Don't get me wrong, there's nothing stopping me doing that. But the question is, how long am I going to be here? I'm going to be, be here a lot longer than I am at the uh, gas station. So I think for now, let's just find out where this zombie is. You're experiencing heat stroke stage one, find water or shelter. Right, so as you can see, the detrimental effects of this are starting to uh, get to my character because I'm moving around too much in the extreme heat. And I'm in the freaking desert. Movement speed at 70%. Minus one hydration every seven seconds because I'm experiencing heat stroke. So I need to be resting at this stage. However, I need to get all this loot back to my storage chest in time to move over. Or, I could start building a base camp here for the time being, which is probably going to be a good idea. So, let's go to building. Uh, let's go for secure storage chest. Let's craft one. And let's put that in our inventory. Let's drop uh, the storage chest in the corner of the room for now, like so. And let's uh, press Y to access the storage chest and start dropping all of our gear in our second storage chest of the game. Now, don't forget guys, for the time being, this is gonna be our base camp, yes. But it's not gonna be a permanent base camp. Once again, I can't stress that enough. Uh, this is one of those games where you're constantly on the move. You're constantly trying to find the best thing for you to survive at this time. And then that time it changes. We've got a supply drop on the map. That's what that orange blip is on the mini map right there. So let's head on to the main map. The supply drop is all the way over there. I could go and get it. But that's a long ass way to go when you've got sunstroke. Uh, I'm not going to put another bedroll here just yet because um, I might die of sunstroke. I need to just be resting at this stage. Even better if I could... Ooh, a black cowboy hat. Don't mind if I do. Put that straight into the storage and a mining helmet as well. Oh shit, I've just taken everything out instead. Wrong button, guys. Wrong button. So I've got food, I've got water, and I've got lots more equipment in this building block and my heat level is going down and down as time goes on not bad at all but I still need to be resting and if I'm gonna be surviving in this building I need to be repairing it need to be repairing it right 101 degrees got abandoned rubbish here short iron pipe and bullet casing Empty old sink. These windows are knackered. So let's knock these windows out for now. Am I still overheating? Yes, I am. Let's head into the menu. So you need to be indoors and get shelter, guys. I am no longer suffering from heat stroke due to me resting for a degree of time, which I'm pretty happy with. Uh, let's think about the best way to do this now. So we've got access points there, and we've got an access point there. I'm thinking maybe block up the access points and build a ladder or staircase up to the rooftop. 
So at which stage I would have to... Uh, I would have to knock the roof down and work work that way. For now, let's just make a few minor repairs to the building by knocking down this stuff. I am still sensed, so there's still a zombie after me somewhere out there. Let's just hope it doesn't get a hold of me anytime soon. So the next few episodes, guys, are going to be making the first basic repairs, building up a base camp here in order to survive here for the duration long enough for me to search through all of these buildings. Right, so at this stage, pretty much the only thing that we can build is the wooden frames, as far as uh, repairing and building goes. Uh, so I need to head back into my uh, storage chest. So I bought all my wood with me, guys. Bought all the wood. Right, so let's head into the storage chest. Take out the wood. And now I want to be building... Let's go for just 20 for the time being. Wood frame. Uh, I'm going to deposit bullet case in the short line pipe in there. Now these are being built one by one. A little, little bit at a time. So let's drop one there and barricade up these windows. Uh, let's drop a second one just here. Another one on top and another one on top. Switch back out to the axe. There's one hole in the wall repaired. Now you can double barricade these if you want, but I do not have that much wood, so I'm not going to. There we go, there's another hole in the wall fixed. Got a second one to fix here. Lovely. Right then. Now, how am I going to do this? Uh, I'm just going to get rid of these. Put my own stuff there. Right, one down. Keep swinging, keep swinging. Now that's going slower and I don't know why. Right, there. Lovely. Right, so let's put a block there and a second block there. Switch back out to the axe. Nice. Now, zombies will be attracted to doors. So it's good to just have as little, as few doors as possible in your uh, buildings. So I'll keep that in mind when you're building yourself, guys. Now we're not gonna have any light sources in here at this stage when nightfall comes. So what I wanna do now is, I do wanna build a door, yes I do. But I only wanna stick to one door. Zombies will be attracted to doors. And chances are I'm gonna get rid of the door anyway when uh, the time comes to build up onto the roof. Well, that's something that's gonna come in time rather than straight away. So the door is built, it's a secure wooden door. Uh, let's place that door in right there, like so. Barricade the door. The door is unlocked, so I can open it and I can close it. The zombies, however, cannot. This door is locked, so I do not want it here. I'm gonna barricade this up as well, giving us more of a vantage point. Right, so we want to block this up, like so. Switch back out to the axe. Barricade up. Takes 10 wood at a time, so it's quite, it's quite difficult to make sure that you've got the amount of wood that you need. But there we go. That is a start. Not a best start, but it's a start. And we've still got windows here as well. Uh, these windows could do with uh, barricading up as well. Not the best looking in, in the world, but it's something for now. It's a good start. And a good start is sometimes all you need to make some progress in this game. All right, so here we've got a leather chest piece and a claw hammer schematic. A schematic, however the hell you want to pronounce it. So if you highlight this and press A, uh, sorry, if you press Y on it, you can read that and then you've learned how to craft that item. So that's a good find. You can find different schematics for different items. I found a fucking TV, Jesus. New recipe unlocked, chest armor. Right, let's break into this bathroom. We have a bathroom, so we might as well use it. Or at least unbarricade the door so I can get in there. It's an extra room at the end of the day, guys. Extra room. Here we go. Nearly there, nearly there. My axe is nearly gone as well. 
right, here we go. So the windows are a bit crap in here. We've got an old sink. Another cooking pot and a short iron pipe. Uh, we've got some vitamins and a splint. Not a bad find for when you break your leg or sprain your ankle. Bottled murky water. So we've got a few more bottled waters now at our disposal. Uh, once I've built a decent campfire. So let's drop all this stuff in for now. You never know when you're going to die. <laughs> Sounds grim, but it's true. Uh, did I get any stone? Yes, I did. Plenty of stone. Right, so let's head back into... Uh, the tools tab and we want to make a few more stone axes for the time being five stone axes there's one bastard right now let's deposit the rest of this stuff for the time being the rest of my stone axes still crafting yes they are sugar tits right that's a lot of axes but it's a good it's a good good amount of axes to have. Now the best way up to the roof is gonna be through this part of the building here. Or this part of the building. So I'm gonna go here. So let's start bashing through this fucking rooftop. In fact we're 26 minutes in guys, so in the next episode, we are going to secure ourselves a roof access point, and then we're going to start moving all of our supplies over from the gas station back to this, this house that we're at now. This is going to be our first base. It's not a permanent base, but we're going to be here long enough to search this entire abandoned desert neighborhood and find whatever gear we possibly can. We'll bring back any gear that we can, hopefully some food, hopefully some water, enough to keep us surviving for yet another day in seven days to die. The objective of this game is to survive as long as possible, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. The map is huge, we haven't even scratched the surface. We are still in the desert. You can go to snowy mountain peaks, in the middle of a forest to some deserted wasteland similar to Fallout and here in the desert. So there's a lot to begin on with. It's a hell of a lot of fun, guys. I do recommend that you go out and buy this game if you are a fan of zombie apocalypse, survival simulation games and building games where you can craft and make your own base. I mean, right now I've just crashed into this house and this is my base, but if I wanted to, I could build one from scratch. There's so much that you can do in this game, It's the possibilities are literally endless, so if you like what you see so far, keep watching, it's going to be a hell of a lot, a hell of a lot of fun, but if you do like what you see, go ahead and buy the game as well, support this developer, pretty badass so far. Thank you for watching my friends, I'll see you shortly for part number four, goodbye my friends.